From the birthplace of Little League Baseball, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And exclusively in color on ABC television today, you will see the 22nd annual Little League World Series. Some 15,000 fans moving into the vicinity of Lomity Stadium here in Williamsport to watch the moment of truth for two teams from Wakayama, Japan, and from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson. I'll be calling the play today on ABC's Wide World of Sports and working with us as our commentator, a name that every baseball fan knows, former star at Boston, Cleveland, and with the California Angels, Jim Pearsall. And, Jimmy, this is a moment of truth, the top of the mountain for these youngsters. It sir, sure is, Keith. These boys are all excited. It's the thrill of a lifetime. 11-year-old boys who have probably been dreaming all their life of playing in this game and haven't slept too much last night. And fortunately, the sun has come out. We're ready to play ball. Yes, and I think we should introduce them right away because they're in that oven in that dugout right here. Okay, Jim, from Richmond, Virginia, let's meet the players. At first base, starting for Richmond, Gray Oliver. At second base, Tim Cecil. The shortstop, Steve Robbins. Third baseman, Jim Pankovitz. The left fielder, John Mizell. The center fielder, Hank Stoneburner. Right fielder, Chris Getz. The catcher, Tim Reed. The pitcher, Roger Miller. Roger, young man right here, hit three successive two-run home runs the other day against Quebec. He is the starting pitcher. Have you ever hit three home runs in a game before? No, sir, I've never hit more than one. Good luck to you today. Thanks a lot. Roger Miller, the starting pitcher for Richmond. The manager is Wesley Volz. And now the starting lineup for Wakayama from Japan. First baseman, Yukio Yamashita. Second baseman, Yoshinari Azuma. The shortstop, Yoshiyuki Nishide. Third baseman, Norahisi Kadama. Left fielder, Hideki Sawa. In center field, Takayuki Nishide. Right fielder, Nobuhiko Funiaku. The catcher, Goichi Takahashi. And the starting pitcher, Hideaki Higashida. Tombare. Good luck to you. The manager of the Wakayama team, Yoshio Kono. Those are the teams, the players, and the starting lineup for today's Little League Baseball game. And Jimmy, we have a very hot day. It might be that we have the careful, deliberate ball club from Japan versus the hard-hitting team from Richmond. Yes, as you know, uh, Richmond hit 267 in so far, and I think the uh, Japan team has hit 367. So you see, it's not all power. It's going to be quite a ball game, and I look for uh, a low-scoring game. So it's about time to play ball, and we'll start it for you in just a moment. It's time to play ball in the Little League World Series championship game at Howard J. Lomity Memorial Field in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Richmond, Virginia, representing the United States, will be coming to the plate first. Wakayama, Japan, representing the Pacific region of Little League play, will be in the field and will be the home team today. They won the flip of the coin yesterday and will be the home team. On the mound this afternoon for the Japanese ball club, from y Wakayama will be Hideaki Higashida. Leading off for the Richmond tournament team out of the Tuckahoe Little League in Virginia, the right fielder Chris Getz. Batting second will be the first baseman Gray Oliver, and hitting third will be the pitcher Roger Miller, the young man who hit three successive two-run home runs in the victory over Canada to reach this coveted moment in Little League Baseball play, the championship game. Wakayama is trying to win a successive world championship in Little League for Japan. The Tokyo team here last year and won the championship. There are signs all over this ballpark. They have, somebody has been acquainted with the going zone at Shea Stadium, I think. And the folks from Richmond have come by the busloads. Ten busloads arrived today to route their young men on. 
The umpires for the ball game today. Behind the plate, Frank Rizzo, a veteran. He is a resident of Williamsport. We'll set the others for you as we get ready for the first pitch of the ball game. Swing and a miss for strike one, and we're underway in the championship game in the 22nd Little League World Series. And Jim Pearsall, as we mentioned a moment ago, this is the top of the mountain. Certainly is, Keith. And we got a little rain earlier, and I think the field is a little slippery, so we might have some problems with long fly balls. A one-strike count. The pitch inside and tight almost nicked him. Chris Getz bailing out on the fastball thrown inside. The battery for the Wakayama team. Higashida is on the mound. Goichi Takahashi is behind the plate for the Japanese ball club. The first baseman, Yukio Yamashita. Big, strong hitter. As Higashida comes back to the plate, the pitch is fouled off for strike two. It's one and two. Chris Getz in the Little League World Series... One for six. He has no runs batted in. This is the tournament team from the Tuckahoe Little League in Richmond, Virginia. Wearing the road gray uniform or the visitor's uniform. As we look in from center field, Higashida to the plate. Low on the outside corner. It is two and two to Chris Getz. Running down the rest of the batting order, Jim Pankovitz is hitting in the number four spot for Richmond this afternoon, playing third base. The left fielder John Mizell is hitting fifth. Two and two pitch to Chris Getz. Swing and a miss. Strikes out. Yamashita Keith throws a lot of breaking balls. I think that was a slider. With one down, the batter will be Gray Oliver, the first baseman for Richmond. Richmond in the World Series, defeating Terre Haute, Indiana, 6-2, and Canada, 8-5. Pitch low, for one. Hideaki Higashida will throw what most of us would call a slider. He does have a little break on most of his pitches, but he has shown good control in the work that we've seen. Goes outside with a fastball, it's two balls and no strikes to Gray Oliver. One down, bases are clean, top half of the first inning, the Little League World Series championship game here on ABC's Wide World of Sports. The Keith fans Jackson will... along with Jim Pearsall. Two-nothing pitch, hit over the mound. In the center field, base hit. Trey Oliver removes some of the tension early in the ball game as he bounces a single over the pitching mound and into center field and he is on first base it is 200 feet down the left right and center field here at Lamedy Memorial Stadium a pitching rubber 46 feet to home plate 60 feet between the bases the base runner not allowed to leave the bag until the pitch is within reach of the batter. Swing, a little tapper, it'll go foul down the first baseline by Roger Miller. Roger Miller is pitching today. He had five no-hitters in regular season. He won nine straight games as a pitcher in regular season. He won seven successive games in tournament play, so he's 16-0 and coming into today's championship game. He had three successive two-run home runs against the Quebec team to reach the championship game. Tapper to the mound. Pitcher falls down, goes to second. They get one. On the fielder's choice, Roger Miller stays alive at first base as Chris Getz is retired at second. You've got one. He's got two down. He didn't rush himself, Keith. He took a lot of time. Even though he fell down, he knew he wanted to make sure that one at second base, they didn't go for two. The Japanese team, a very careful baseball team, and after each inning, they huddle to talk over any mistake they might have made. The batter is Jim Pankovitz, and he looks at ball one. A fastball thrown high. There's Roger Miller on first base. The first baseman for Wakayama, Yukio Yamashita. And Jim Pankovitz just digging in, setting his jaw. Hit sharply to third base. Fine play by Kodama. Throws him out. The inning is over. No runs, a hit. One left. And after the top half of the first inning, it is Richmond nothing. Wakayama coming up. 
Now we go to the bottom of the first inning. No score in the ball game with Richmond getting the one base hit in the top of the first inning. But being retired without scoring a run for Wakayama now. We'll have the first look at them offensively as Roger Miller gets set to go to work. A young man who's won 16 consecutive games in Little League play this summer. Leading off for Wakayama, the shortstop, Yoshiyuki Nishide. Chokes up on that bat, hits it sharply on the ground to the third baseman. He scoops, and Pankovic throws him out as Gray Oliver shows the stretch, and on the first pitch of the ball game, Richmond gets an out. Nishide, third to first. Yoshinari Azuma, the second baseman, come to the plate next. He'll be followed by Hideki Sawa, the left fielder, the fourth hitter. If he has a chance, will be Hideaki Higashida, the pitcher. Azuma looks, ball one. Miller didn't like that call at all, Keith. <laughs> Most of these Japanese players are uh, punch hitters. They just try to get a piece of the ball and run hard. Roger Miller on the mound delivers a fastball. Strike one and one with one out. Nobody on, no score. Bottom of the first inning. The Little League World Championship game. The coach, Yoshi Okono, made a comment that we are a little smaller in size, but we do not feel that we come up short in any way in ability. They don't make any mistakes. They don't make the defensive mistake to hurt themselves, and they just keep pecking away. They'll push a bunt here. They'll steal a base, and they're like the old Chicago White Sox. Two and one pitch. He swung on, hit down the right field line. Fair, and the catch made by the right fielder, Chris Getz, right on the foul line. Two down. Chris had that ball all the way. He was playing him over towards the line. The outfielders are all playing around towards right on these hitters because Miller has good speed, and he seems to rely mostly on his fastball. He moves it around, in and out. Here is the leading hitter now for Wakayama, Hideki Sawa. He is five for eight with four runs batted in in the two games here in the World Series. He's the left fielder. Over the mound, in the center, base hit. And it's the same kind of a base hit that Wakayama, came, uh, that uh, Richmond came up with in the top of the inning. You notice most of these hitters all choke up for Japan. They, they feel that they want to get a piece of that ball. Sawa on first base. Ray Oliver, the Richmond first baseman. Roger Miller having had a conversation with his catcher, Tim Reed, goes back to the mound. And he'll be working to Hideaki Higashida, who is the pitcher. Higashida, one for six. And a run batted in, and it's fouled upstairs, right by us. And just about <laughs> almost got this cameraman on our right. Field of photographer off the roof. Got a big roar from the packed house. We <laughs> must have 15,000 people watching the ball game. Dedicated this brand new facility earlier today. He got you to swings, gets a little piece of it, fouls it back to the wire. And the count is two strikes with two out, and Sawa on first base. I certainly hope all the le little leaguers looking in notices how he chokes up on that bat. It's so important with two of strikes. Third ball on the corner. Strike three call. No runs. One hit. One left. Score after one complete inning of play. Richmond nothing. Wakayama nothing. Along with Jim Pearsall at Lamade Memorial Field in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, we go to the top of the second inning in the Little League World Series Championship game. Leading off for Richmond, John Mizell, the left fielder, and he is hit in the ribs by the first pitch from Higashida, and Higashida right down off the mound, bows to him, offers his apologies. They coach and they manager of the Richmond team, Wesley Bolts. I never Harry had anybody right shake out. my hand when I got hit. <laughs> John Mizell is all right, and he goes to first base. I level a Deccan. <laughs> so Higashida goes back to the mound, and the batter now will be Tim Reed, the catcher for Richmond. He's hitless in five trips so far in the World Series. Higashida comes to the plate with a breaking pitch. It's fouled off strike one. 
You don't have a lot of room behind home plate and from the foul lines back into the stands about 30 33 feet. This ballpark to put it in simple terms is two thirds the size of a symmetrical major league ballpark. A one strike count on Tim Reed. It's a strike for the shortstop. Played nicely by Nishide. Second for one. Back to first. Not in time. They get the force at second. He handled that like picking cherries. Here's his pitching style of Higashida of Japan, Jim. Yes, very slow and deliberate. He hesitates above his head. Now watch. It would be called almost a balk in the major leagues. But he's not trying to uh, kid the hitter. He's just trying to get the ball over. The batter is Hank Stoneburner, the center fielder for Richmond. Little number nine. But it's Tim Cecil, the second baseman for Richmond. Stoneburner moving into the on deck circle. So this is Tim Cecil, who is hitless in three trips in the World Series, and he is behind the pitcher now, 0 and 2. If you'll notice, good control, secret of being a good pitcher, and these young Japanese players do it right. They get the ball over the plate. A two strike pitch to Tim Cecil, swung on and missed for strike three. Two out. That's the second strikeout for Higashida. And now Hank Stoneburner will come to the plate with Tim Reed on first base. Here's Stoneburner. Hank is hitless in four trips. You know, you find that most of these young men want to be baseball players. This youngster wants to be a heart surgeon. He swung right through that fastball. Good hard slider that time. Doesn't move, uh, you know, the. The boys from Virginia looking at the gosh at his work the other day said, Well, the pitch is moving. Well, I don't know if it's moving that much or not. It doesn't move very much, but maybe just a little. That's a curveball. And good drop on it. And obviously, Stoneburner was fooled. He was fooled. He... You've got a two strike count on Hank Stoneburner with two out. And Tim Reed on first base, no score. We're in the top of the second inning here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Keith, I think uh, throwing that curveball is kind of a strain on these youngsters' arms. And I know that uh, they say there's a couple of bones underneath that arm you got to be careful of. That they're not fully developed when you throw that curveball, so you got to be real careful. Turns, bluffs a bunt on the two strike pitch. Higashida throws a breaking pitch low and away. It's one and two. I would much rather see a young boy get a good fastball and develop his arm and move the ball around and change speeds than to come up with a curveball until he's around 13 or 14 years old. One and two pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. So for Richmond in the top of the second inning, we have no runs, there were no hits, one man left on, and no errors by Wakayama. The score after one and a half, nothing, nothing. And ABC Television is mighty happy to be here in Williamsport for the Little League World Series Championship game. The stadium seats about 5,000. We've got about 10,000 on the hill back of the center field fence. And leading off here at the bottom of the second inning for Wakayama, Japan, Yukio Yamashita, the first baseman. As Roger Miller delivers, strike one. No score in the ball game. Each club with one base hit. On deck. Takayuki Nishide, the center fielder for Japan. He'll be followed by Funaoko, the right fielder. Roger Miller comes with a fastball that's high and tight. And the strike zone, Jim Pearsall, for Little Leaguers, is a little bit lower down than you would find. Uh, that's right. It down. starts at the armpit and it goes down to the knees. Popped up, and we almost had we a certain cut that 10 years ago. <laughs> and the reason for this, Keith, is that they want to prevent a head injury. They feel that the uh, pitch that's a little higher is, might uh, have a problem where the youngsters would step in and get hit in the face. Yukio Yamashita, the first baseman, has four hits and eight trips to the plate with one run batted in in the two games played here in the World Series. It's surprising, well, really not surprising at all. Uh, the people of Williamsport have been most gracious, as they always are, to the visiting ball clubs, and uh, the Japanese youngsters have had their fair uh, share of fans throughout the World Series play. 
and they have really enjoyed themselves. They, as a matter of fact, not at all timid with the food last night at the supper table. They just jumped in there with both elbows. Stanton with a mess, he struck him out. That is strikeout number two for Roger Miller. One down. He fired that ball around the infield. The bat in Little League is 33 inches long. It cannot be any longer. Miller firing most of his pitches high. He's a high fastball pitcher, and uh, that's the type of pitch that they can hit out of the ballpark. Put all code. At the plate, takes strike one. Two balls and one strike on the batter with one out. Most of the Japanese hitters will fake a bunt. Foul tip. Got level to two and two on Funaoka. Oh. Anyway, full count. That's the first one of those this afternoon. Roger Miller goes to three and two. On Nobuhiko Funaoka, the right fielder. And tight, he walked in. The center fielder, Takayuki Nishide, coming to the plate now. On the Japanese team we've seen at the plate, takes a strike. One out. Funaoka on first base as Roger Miller works for Richmond and Nishide fouls it away. Did you notice the uh, first baseman plays in front of the first base bag because he does not have to hold the uh, Runner on in Little League, you can't take a lead. Time called with a two strike count on Takayuki Nishide. In case you wonder where Wakayama is located, it's located about 40 miles south of Osaka along the Inland Sea. And the gentleman who is the manager of Wakayama, Yoshio Kono, owns an auto repair shop. The assistant manager, Ikehi Fujita, is a leather goods importer. So the Japanese little leaguer and the men who run the ball clubs, just like those we have in this country, they're people who come from all walks of life. At two strike count, oh! and tight. That time he came with a breaking pitch to make it one and two. Center fielder is real shallow. Oh! Hank Stoneburner. Bouncing ball to the shortstop. to make the safe as he elected to make the play himself. Steve Robbins trying to outrun. The base runner got there a half a step too late. And Wakayama now with two men aboard. And time is called. We'll be back with more in just a moment. The inning opened as Yamashita struck out. Funioko walked. Nishide safe on a fielder's choice. The play was late at second base. And a swing and a miss. It's one and two on the batter, Takahashi. Miller's reaching back for a little extra right now. He wants to strike these fellows out. He, he doesn't want to take a chance of them hitting that ball anyway, the way they can run. First threat of the ball game. We have no score as Takahashi fouls it away. And the count holds at one and two. Goichi has... Two hits in five trips so far in the series. Mm -hmm. Miller so far in the game, Jimmy, has thrown 28 pitches. 
It has been blistering hot all week here in Williamsport. But a little while ago, we had a fair thunder shower blow through. Didn't get anything very wet, but it did serve to cool things off, which has been most welcome. The wind's blowing in, so you have to hit the ball pretty hard to hit it out of here. Two balls and two strikes now to Takahashi with Kodama on deck. One out at second base. Kunaoka. Out goes to three and two as Roger Miller now finds the plate jumping a little bit. Nishide is on first base. And Roger is in some trouble here with a full count. Three and two. Has it on the corner, but it's a little bit low. And the bases are loaded with one out. Unaoka goes to third base. Nishide to second base. Takahachi at first. And the batter is Norahisa Kodama. The third baseman. Kodama hitless in four trips. But a golden opportunity right here for him. Infield in tight. Pitch inside and high. Looks like Miller's trying to throw a little too hard. Working rather fast, too. Holds that bat up there, daring Miller to come with it. Miller does, right down the heart of the plate with a fastball. It's one and one. Base is loaded, one out. Strike two. One and two. Stoneburner, the center fielder, just tried to pick the guy off second base, Keith. I would say in this circumstance, though, really and truly, especially in Little League Baseball, Jimmy, the job is up to Roger Miller, the pitcher. One out. Outside. Base is loaded. Two and two on the batter, Kodama. No score between Richmond and Wakayama, Japan, for the Little League World Series Championship. Cut three. That's a big out for Miller. That's th his third strikeout. They have a force in any base right now. And the base is loaded and two down. We go back to the top of the order. Yoshiyuki Nishide, the shortstop, and he fouls it up on the roof out of play. Back one. Nishide, three for six and four runs batted in in the World Series. Half over the mound. Steve Robin, second base. And the sides retired, and the folks from Richmond, Virginia, let out an uproarious yell as Miller gets out of serious trouble here in the bottom half of the second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and three left on. The score after two, Richmond nothing, Japan nothing. You're looking at Steve Robbins, the shortstop for Richmond, Virginia, leading off here in the top of the third inning. He'll be followed by Chris Getz and Gray Oliver, and Robbins bunts foul on the first base line for strike one. The manager of the Richmond team out of the Tuckahoe Little League in Richmond is Wesley Volts, a plumbing and heating contractor. The assistant manager is Harry Humphrey, who is a salesman. To reach this game, Richmond defeated Terre Haute 6-2 and Canada 8-5. Keep that third baseman's playing shallow. And he tapped right down there to him. Kodama up with it, throws to first. In time. One down, no score. Here in the top of the third inning. The batter will be Chris Getz for Richmond. Hideaki Higashida on the mound. Oichi Takahashi behind the plate, and Chris Guest steps in. Chris struck out his first time this afternoon. He's one for seven in the series, and swings and misses for strike one. He's bailing out. He's having trouble staying in there, and he's falling away from the ball. The manager is not allowed to come on the field and consult with his hitters. He'll do it from the dugout. Breaking pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. Get that foot in the bucket. <laughs> I'll tell you, Higashida moves that ball. When he wants to throw the breaking pitch, he can move it. That's right. They, they have to try to hit him to the opposite field. And he should be choking up right now. He's got that, that right down at the end. 
Mm. Fastball on the corner, but low. One and two. How do you take a pitch like that? Remember when you were 11? Boy. <laughs> One and two pitch. And Chris gets for the second time in the ball game strikes out. You notice how the catcher gave a target for a high pitch. These, these pitchers and catchers have talked over the hitters, it looks like, because they seem to know where they want that ball pitched, and that was a target, high fastball, and they struck him out. Ray Oliver up there. Looks at a fastball, low, ball one. Half foul. One and one, two out, base is clean. Richmond at bat. In the top of the third inning, we have no score. Wakayama Japan had the bases loaded with one out. In the bottom of the second, but could not score. If Oliver can punch one down that left field line, he could go for extra bases. Pulls it to the second baseman. Azuma makes a fine play, throws to first for the third out. So Richmond up and down in order, and after two and a half innings of play, no score. We move to the bottom of the third inning. No score in the ball game. Wakayama Japan sends to the plate. Yoshinara Azuma bounces one to the right side. Second baseman Tim Cecil makes the play to the first baseman Gray Oliver and on the first pitch, one out. Roger Miller in a big hole in the bottom of the second inning, dug himself out. And he gets his first out in the bottom of the third on one pitch. You notice how the Jap player bows to the catcher, Keith. I think that's Japanese player. I like it. <laughs> I like it. And I'm sure every umpire in the world likes it. Hideki Sawa fouls one upstairs out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. I'd have to say a few, but it. Miller outside. Like you called me out on a bad pitch. <laughs> one ball and one strike. Two balls and one strike as Miller is low. Eight winners from regional tournaments around the world where Little League Baseball is played in some 40 nations playing here this week in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and these are the two finals. Broken back, ground ball, right side, Tim Cecil, the first baseman, two out. He saw that one off in his hands. Santa Ana, California took third place in the Little League World Series this morning. Quebec, Canada took fourth place. Terre Haute, Indiana, fifth. Hagerstown, Maryland, sixth. Nicaragua finished seventh. And Wiesbaden, Germany, eighth. The first pitch to Hideaki Higashida, the pitcher and the cleanup hitter for Japan. Low for ball one. You've got two out, nobody on. Well, it comes a little high this time to make it two balls and no strikes. The Little League was founded here in Williamsport in 1939. World Series started in 1947. Became international in 1957 when Monterey, Mexico won the first of two successive Little League World Championships, and they're the only team ever to win back-to-back -back titles. Oh, tight, tight. Three balls and no strikes. So Higashide has the edge. He doesn't show you a nerve anywhere, does he? No, he doesn't. Fine little ball player. Struck out his first time up against Miller. This time he gets a free pass to first base as Miller walks him. That is the third walk given up by Roger Miller this afternoon. He got it on first base. Gray Oliver will not have to hold him because the base runner is not allowed to leave the bag until the ball has reached the batter. And the rules read specifically within the reach of the batter. And at the plate now, Yukio Yamashita swings and misses for strike one. High and away for one and one. And if they leave before the pitch has moved within reach of the batter, down comes the flag, Jimmy. That's right. If they're safe at second base, they have to go back. Fouled away. One ball, two strikes. 
And if they're called out at second base, they're out. Yamashita, in his first trip to the plate against Roger Miller this afternoon, struck out. Ball skips back to the backstop, make it count two and two, and the base runner moves up. Yamashita going to second base. It's a breaking ball. Struck it up. That's four strikeouts for Roger Miller. And at end of three complete innings of play in the Little League World Series championship game, it's Richmond nothing, Japan nothing. Japan locked up in the Little League World Series championship game here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Leading off for Richmond, Roger Miller. A pitcher. He'll be followed by Jim Pankovitz and John Mizell here in the top of the fourth inning. We have no score. Miller, begging and missing to make the count one ball and one strike. Roger Miller, who's been quite a sensation, has his family in the stands. The father, the mother, and the grandmother all here watching today, and it's obviously a great moment for them. He got today comes outside and low to make it two balls and one strike. The Miller family moved out of Richmond to Connecticut in July, but Roger had already started and was well into his Little League baseball season, so he remained in Richmond living with friends, and don't you know, he's glad he did. Foul upstairs, out of play. Roger's the first hitter I've seen with an open stance. He's facing the pitcher a little bit if you watch him, and... Uh, He's a pretty good hitter. He's got good power. Tap foul. Going into the top of the fourth inning, I think it is worth noting, uh, Jimmy Pearsall, that Roger Miller in his pitching had thrown 49 pitches. Igashita had thrown only 30 pitches. Good control. Three. That's five strikeouts for Higashide. He's the fellow who's not supposed to throw so hard. That's right. In this kind of weather, it pays to get the ball over. It's the late innings, they're going to have to be uh, even, even more sharper because uh, the hitters generally get their base hits in Little League later in the ball game. Jim Pankovitz, the third baseman at the plate. Jim tapped out third to first his first time up today. He's one for seven so far in World Series play. And he has a ball one count. You notice that shoulder high pitch is called a ball. It's got to be down. The arm pitch down. And a breaking pitch by Higashide. Swung on and missed for strike. One and one. One out. Nobody on. No score. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Richmond and Japan. Japanese Little League team trying to take a second successive world championship across the Pacific. He's a breaking ball again. Bank of it strikes out on the breaking pitch. That's six strikeouts now for. Oh, he didn't strike out. One and two is the count on Bank of it. <laughs> Now he strikes out on the fastball. As Higashide threw him. Three breaking pitches and then came with a fastball and he threw it right on the corner. As the boys say, on the black with it. And he got it. So he struck out a pair here in this inning. And John Mizell, who has been the leading hitter for the Richmond team, is at the plate. He came into this ball game five for six. And John Tapp retired at second base after being hit by a pitcher his first time up. So actually he's at the plate for the first time officially this afternoon. He took a fastball in the ribs first time up. If you notice, Keith, Hikashida never takes his eye off that plate, which is so important to a young pitcher, and I think any little leaguer watching should notice this. He never takes his eye off that plate. A ball one count. A breaking pitch. Dips in and over the plate, and Mizell swings above the pitch to make it one and one. The bats, of course, regulation. 
33 inches. That's as big as they can come. Oh! Just missed. Two balls and one strike to John Mizell. In talking with the American players that play in Japan, they all say that it's the breaking pitch and the change of speeds that makes them so tough to hit when you play in Japan. You notice the Japanese outfielders are playing actually playing deeper than you'll find the oh! Richmond outfielders when Wakayama is at the plate. Down goes to three balls and one strike now on Mizell as Higashida has missed outside on his last two pitches. Each team with one base hit. Japan had the only serious threat. They had the bases loaded with one out. They could not score. And there is the first walk issued by Higashide this afternoon as Mizell goes to first base. Two out. Top of the fourth inning. You see the umpire holding the red flag. He'll drop that flag if the runner leaves the base too soon before the ball reaches the plate. The batter for Richmond, Tim Reed, the catcher. Reed got aboard on a fielder's choice his first time up this afternoon. In the series, nothing. Four six. Tap to third base. Great pickup by Kadama. Throws him out. Great play by the little third baseman, Norahisi Kadama. Let's look at it in slow motion here as the Japanese team goes into the dugout. Watch Kadama move quickly now on this slow tap past the mound. Comes in and really, now that's a classic short hop play, Jim. It certainly is. And the first base makes a fine play, too. He stretches and completes the play. And you notice how they fire that ball as quick as they get it. A fine play. So for Richmond, no hits, no runs. They leave a man, and after three and a half innings of play, our score, Japan nothing, Richmond nothing. At the plate for Japan, leading off here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Funaoka, the right fielder, and looks at a pitch low at his feet. One ball and one strike. Roger Miller works on the mound for Richmond, Virginia. No score. Each team with one base hit. Funaoka walked back in the second inning. One ball and two strikes as Miller finds the corner. Nishide is on deck. Then we'll have Takahashi. Side wheels to the plate. Bounce to the second baseman. Ciso throws him out. One down. You notice Ciso tells the outfielders how many outs there are, which is very important to know how many outs there are. And I've watched in the big leagues the last couple of years, and sometimes you find a fielder running off the field with two outs. Takayuki Nishide, the center fielder at the plate now, hitting left-handed. Pitch is high and outside. Nishida now three for six in his World Series play. You know, it's cost a little over $1,000 per player to send this Japanese team over here, and the parents, I'm told, have borne most of the costs. Keith, I thought it was quite interesting when you were saying about the boys can't understand how come we have so much space all around this country. Well, they're awed by all this open space because at home everything that's flat or reachable is tillable and it, it works for the people. Three balls and no strikes now as Roger Miller falls behind on Nishide. In with the automatic to make it three and one with one out and nobody on and the score. The Japanese team stopped at Anaheim Stadium and uh, they really enjoyed our ball park. They were fascinated. Yes, they had a trip to Disneyland, stopped, spent some time in Los Angeles and San Francisco. On the corner, it's a full count, three balls and two strikes on Nishide. From here, all of the Little Leaguers go to the nation's capital. They'll visit the White House and their respective embassies. Foul back, count holes three and two. And from there, they will all go their respective ways. 
the Japanese team will go back to New York City and then fly on home. Foul back again, so Takayuki Nishide hangs in at three and two with one out. A good four inches up that bat handle. And away, and he hung in and got his base on balls. So Nishide goes to first base. Roger Miller breathes a big sigh with one out. There's a man on behind him, and the batter, Goichi Takahashi. Takahashi walked first time up this afternoon. Ball gets away, rolling all the way down into the corner. And uh, Nishide around second, going to third. And he'll hold up. Now he breaks in third base, throw to the plate. Ball gets away and he scores. Roger Miller lost control of the ball on the throw back in from the deep right field corner. And Nishide scores on the error. Keith Chris gets. Uh, threw the ball all the way in, which is a mistake. He should have tried to hit the cutoff man, who was the first baseman, Gray Oliver. But the play almost worked because as he came down the line, catcher uh, Reed almost had the ball. He had it in his glove, but he tried to get back to the plate too quick and fumbled the ball. He didn't quite have a hold of it. And right now, the coach is trying to calm the boys down. They're a little bit disappointed in making a mistake on this play. So well, there'll be a pair of errors there. We'll get the word from the official scorer. One of the errors will go against Roger Miller. And the other error may go against the catcher, Reed. So it'll be errors on one and two, or the pitcher and the catcher. And Wakayama, Japan, leads one to nothing. And the batter... Takahashi... Back to the pitcher, and Roger Miller throws him out for the second out. I think the importance of knowing what to do with the ball shows right now that that one run scored because they rushed themselves and they weren't sure what to do with the ball when they got it. And the way Higashida has been breezing along, he, he, that one run looks awfully big here in the bottom of the fourth inning. The batter is Norohisi Kodama, the third baseman. And Roger Miller. Getting a little wet now. Comes in to confer with the umpire, get a new baseball. The umpire behind the plate is Frank Rizzo. At first base, Terry Grambling. The second base umpire is Roger Casale. Third base umpire is Fred Miller. Kadama at the plate looks at a strike. One and one. The umpires down the right field line, Charles Hess from Massillon, Ohio. And down the left field line, Jack Finzel from Gary, Indiana. All the other umpires we named are from Williamsport. Two balls and one strike count on Kodama with two out and a run across. An unearned run, but it still counts. And it's a big one. Miller with a fastball that is high. Working quickly at three and one. Comes on the corner to make it three and two. To reach Williamsport. Wakayama defeated East Osaka 7-0, Hyoko 8-2, Osaka 16-3 and 8-1, Tokyo 10-2, and Guam 15-0. Foul back by Kodama, stays alive at 3-2. and two. You can see the uh, Japanese youngsters have not been giving away a lot of runs. They certainly have not. Miller misses just outside, close. So Kodama moves down to first base. That is the fifth base on balls issued by Roger Miller. So wildness is causing him trouble as Yoshiyuki Nishide stands at home plate. Tim Reed holds the ball. And little Narahisi Kodama giving him a little business down at first base. Once the ball is back in the pitcher's glove, he must go back to the bag. And there he is. Pitch to the plate, sharp shot, third base. Pankin it's up with it. Goes across to first in time for the out. For Japan, one run, no hits, two errors. 
And at the end of four complete innings of play, Japan won, Richmond nothing. The score in the Little League World Series championship game after four complete innings of play, Japan won, Richmond, Virginia nothing. ABC Sports invites all American sports fans to a front row seat at their television set for the viewing of the Summer Olympic Games at Mexico from October 12 through October 27. Your financial help is needed to train, transport, house, and equip our top athletes in preparation for the Games. The United States Olympic Committee offers two very handsome special awards for a tax-deductible contribution of $5 each. First, an unusual men's tie bar with five Olympic rings under the lettering USA. The identical design is available in an attractive women's bar pin. At $5 each to the United States Olympic Committee, Box 1000, Mount Vernon, New York. Top of the fifth inning, Japan won, Richmond, Virginia nothing, and leading off for Richmond, Tim Cecil struck out his first time. He'll be followed by Hank Stoneburner and then Steve Robbins. If the fans are wondering why the little leaguers look back in the dugout, they're looking for a sign from the coach whether to take or hit. Higashida with a breaking pitch is on the corner for a two strike count on Tim Cecil. Wakayama, Japan, leading one to nothing over Richmond, Virginia, which came into this tournament representing the Southern District in Little League play in the United States. Swing and a miss by Cecil, and he strikes out for the second time this afternoon. They stands hold capacity 5,000, perhaps a few less. And they're full today. But front of the plate, ball dead, great bunt, throw just in time. A stone burner laid a dead one right there in front of the plate. And he rolled another three or four feet, he'd had himself a base hit. Great play, out in front of the plate is the catcher, and you notice he threw inside the runner so he wouldn't hit him, and it was a fine play. Two down as Hideaki Higashida hangs on, and the go-go Tuckaho Southern Champ sign you see indicates that the Richmond team here is the tournament team from the Tuckaho Little League in Richmond. Richmond at bat in the top of the fifth inning. A six-inning game. Steve Robbins hit listen four trips in World Series play. Remember, it's a six-inning Little League game, so there isn't much room left, and that one run gets bigger and bigger with every pitch. Steve Robbins out third to first, his first time up today. I know the fans are wondering, Keith, why this strong-powered uh, Richmond team are not hitting this fella. Well, it's because he's got the breaking pitch, and he gets it over. And uh, the, the power, when you try to swing hard at a pitch like this, is to no advantage. you just got to try to peck away and try to hit it in the right field. There's that breaking ball. Just missed with it. Two balls and one strike with two out. The base is clean here in the top of the fifth. Japan leading one to nothing over Richmond. He's very seldom an inch off the plate. Steve Robbins. Exceptional hands for a youngster at shortstop. Boy, he's something. A little bit low. And Higashida gives it a long look. Yeah, he's not too happy with that call. The infield immediately moves in to offer their encouragement to him. I wonder if Virgil trucks would ever bow. <laughs> or early win. Three and one pitch to Steve Robbins. Over the mound. Shortstop. Good play. Throw is in time. So the shortstop Nishide throws out Steve Robbins for the third out. Richmond up and down in order. And after four and a half innings of play, the score, Japan one, Richmond nothing. Leading off here for Japan. As we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, Azuma is one for nine in World Series play. He is the second baseman. He'll be followed by Hideki Sawa. And then we have Yukio Yamashita. And Japan is leading one to nothing, scoring an unearned run in the bottom of the fourth inning on two errors. And uh, Azuma leads off the bottom of the fifth inning for Wakayama with a base on balls. And I believe that's six walks issued by Roger Miller. Miller's a very unhappy little boy out there right now. He's 
Well, here's the big hitter for Japan, Hideki Sawa. He has singled and grounded out second to first. He is six for ten in World Series play. Fouls it sharply back to the screen. We are in the bottom of the fifth inning. Richmond has one more chance. They're down one to nothing as Miller works in a hurry, comes low and a count is two and one. Nobody out, and Yoshinara Azuma is on first base. Sawa swings and misses. Two balls and two strikes. There's the base runner, Azuma at first base. Ray Oliver, the Richmond first baseman, right there with him. Ground ball, left field, base hit by Sawa. Azuma goes to second base and holds on as John Mizell runs it back in. Azuma at second, and Sawa down at first base. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Japan leading one nothing and threatening again. Miller might be weakening now. He's been throwing a lot of pitches. His fastball might not be as quick as it was in the early innings, so we might see a few runs here. Sawa with both hits for Wakayama. The batter is Yamashita. We've moved the Wakayama batting order around a little bit with Higashida being dropped down to fifth and Yamashita moving up into the number four position in the order. Bunts out in front. Devon. Andy. Throw to third. Not in time. Now the base runner falls off the bag after colliding with Jim Pekovich and he is called out at third base. Yes, he was safe on the play and I think uh, he wasn't sure whether he might be able to score. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. Good bunt right out in front. I think that would have been a base hit under any circumstances. I think so, Tim. Tim Reed was trying to pick the ball up. They had him at third base. No, they didn't either, I guess, until he went up in the air. Ball gets away from the catcher, Tim Reed. Throws to third base. The base runner at third over slides the bag, and he is caught off the bag. And a second out is recorded at third base. Their speed's getting away from him, Keith. That's two of the strangest outs you'll ever see in your life. Pankovic didn't quit, just dove right at the runner and tagged him out. The batter is Higashide, the pitcher. With two out now, and he swings and fouls it away. Yamashita is at second base. We've had Azuma and Sawa both retired at third base in unusual circumstances where both of them bounced off the bag and were tagged out by the third baseman, Pankovic. This might be an incentive for the Richmond team now to get back and get some runs here. They've only got one more chance. Well, instead of uh, Japan having the big inning, Roger Miller may wiggle out of it. Yep. They count three balls and two strikes to Higashida. With two out, and Yamashita at second base. Higashida hits it sharply, foul down along the right field line. Higashida has struck out twice in the game. So he's one for eight in his World Series play. But he's the pitcher, and he's doing quite a job this afternoon. Roger Miller delivers a little looper with a drop in center field. Play made by Hank Stoneburner, throws it back to the plate. Higashida moves up to second base. Yamashita stops at third base. Stoneburner didn't have a play at the plate, so he tried to throw all the way, and I think he'd been better off if he tried to hit the cutoff man. This is a major problem in Little League. A lot of these throws in from the outfield are overthrowing the cutoff man. Nobuhiko Funaoko is at the plate now. With the bases loaded again. So you can see, obviously, what those two outs at third base have meant in the ball game. The bases occupied by two Japanese base runners at second and third. And the pitch, Roger Miller to the plate, is called high one and one. A little go go Japan oh. sign up behind the fence up on the hill. The count two balls and one strike. It's two out and two on. Roger Miller in the game has thrown 93 pitches to the plate. 
might be getting a little bit weary, whereas Higashida has thrown only 55 pitches to the plate. That tells the In story right there. That's right. The count two balls and two strikes with two out and two on here in the bottom of the fifth inning. One nothing Japan leading. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And Roger Miller with his fifth strikeout really digs himself out of a serious hole. So Japan does not score despite glorious opportunities. And after five complete innings of play it is Japan one Richmond nothing. Time to sort everything out now as Wakayama takes the field in the final inning, top half of the sixth inning. Get everything straightened out. That's what they're doing right now. The Wakayama team from Japan going into the final inning of play at a little huddle back behind the mound where they perhaps did a little soul searching, saying, look, we lead one to nothing. This is the last inning. Let's bear down. Let's make it stick. Let's make every throw sure. Tokyo Japan team won this world championship last year. Wakayama, which in really is considered a small town in Japan, 380,000 population, is trying to win it this year. And it's a great source of pride for them to think that the small town like Wakayama could win a world championship in a little league play. And don't you think they won't give the boards in Tokyo the business when they get home? The final chance for Richmond. The top of the sixth inning. The final inning. Higashida. It is 55 pitches that he has thrown so far in the game. He's thrown 20 fastballs and 35 breaking pitches. For Richmond. The top of the order. Chris Getz. Ball one. Kashira just moved his outfielders back, Keith. We want some playing deep. Chris Getz will be followed by Gray Oliver and then Roger Miller. One nothing, Japan leading in the top of the sixth, the final inning. Getz swings and misses for strike one. Getz has struck out twice this afternoon. The breaking ball has been the difference in this ball game. One ball and two strikes on Chris Getz. The breaking ball and the absence of mistakes on the part of the Japanese team. Of course, Richmond has not been able to put any pressure on the Japanese team as yet. Mighty close. Two balls and two strikes. It is 46 feet from the pitching rubber to home plate. 60 feet between the bases. 200 feet down left and right and straight away in center to the outfield fence. Two and two. Strike three call. Eight strikeouts for Hideaki Higashida. He has dominated the game. One out and he is making sure everybody on the field knows it. The batter he is Gray Oliver, the Richmond first baseman. Hard shot, right field, base hit. Ball is loose in the outfield. Oliver holds it first, however, as the center fielder Nishide comes over and helps out Buda Oko. It rained earlier, it's a little slick out there. Fine alert play by Nishide, the center fielder, backing up Buda Oka, and forces Oliver to hold on at first base. Oliver hit a rope. The hardest hit ball of the game. game. Yes, it is. That is the second hit of the ball game for Richmond. Richmond would like to see Miller hit one out of here right now. And uh, Roger Miller, the man who hit three successive two-run home runs to put Richmond into the final game, is coming to the plate. Wesley Volts, the Richmond team manager, is standing outside the foul line talking with the plate umpire. Frank Rizzo. He's talking to him, Keith, about interference. He claims the first baseman interfered uh, with Oliver when he tried to make his turn. He's kind of hot about it, too. That was Harry Humphrey, the assistant manager, who had come out to debate with Frank Rizzo. So there's a little unhappiness on the Richmond side of the field at the moment. 
as Roger Miller steps in. Miller has been aboard on a fielder's choice and struck out against Tegosity. He has Gray Oliver on first base. Miller hits a little pop up. First baseman Yamashita goes back and makes a play on it. Two down. He broke his bat on that play. He hit it right off the end of the bat. They're down to their last out now. The batter coming to the plate as Higashida stands, checking everybody behind him. He will pitch now to Jim Hankovitz, the third baseman for Richmond. Two out, Dre Oliver on first base. Japan leads one to nothing. Hard shot off the pitcher's glove. Shortstop knocks it down. Throw to first, not in time. Richmond is still alive. Fine play by the first baseman to block that ball to keep it from going back to the stands. It's a base hit. We look at it in slow motion. Here's Jim Pearsall. The shortstop is going to stumble on this ball, and he went the wrong way. He broke to the left. Now, now, now he picks it up and fires the first base, and the first base made a fine play to block the ball, keep it going back to the stands. So, with two out, Richmond is still alive, trailing one to nothing behind Japan, and here is their leading hitter, John Mizell at the plate. Five hits and six trips with five runs batted in. Hard shot to right field. Fukuoko, a great diving catch, and the ball game is over. Japan wins the second successive Little League World Championship. And look at the bedlam on the field as the youngsters from the little town of Wakayama have traveled all the way across the Pacific Ocean, all the way across the United States to win a world championship. And they are accepting the congratulations of a fine group of young men from Richmond, Virginia. And let's look at it again, the final out in slow motion as John Mizell hit the ball right where it was pitched. A line drive to right field. And Nobuhuko Furaoko made a great diving catch. And he carried that glove wide open. Both hands formed as big a pocket as the, he possibly could and clutched it to his bosom for the final out. Well, there you see the line score. Wakayama, Japan, one run, three hits, no errors, left six men on base. Richmond, Virginia, no runs, three hits, two big errors, and they left four men on base. And it was a great play that ended the ball game. And let's take one more look at it in slow motion as John Mizell, with two out and two on, his team down by one run, hit a hard line drive to right field. Nobuhiko Funaoko, the right fielder for Wakayama, a little late in starting, but made a long headfirst dive and clutched the baseball to his bosom a good six feet off the ground and held on for the victory, and Japan wins it one to nothing. Down with the winners, here is Jimmy Pearsall. Now we have the fellows that played an outstanding part in this ball game, and to talk to these players, Key Kubahashi, and first the pitcher. Uh, this is uh, the pitcher. He's all excited. He's been crying, but he pitched a great ball game. He only threw about 55 or 60 pitches, which was the most important part of this ball game. And the fellow next to him scored the winning run. That's that's right. He scored the winning run from first all the way around. All right. And the next fellow uh, made the big catch in, in the last inning. Now, would you tell me, uh, ask him how he felt when he was going for the ball? He said uh, it was uh, make or break, so I had to make that uh, last out. He said it was make or break for the last out. Okay, Keith, up to you, Keith. Thank you very much, Jim. Wakayama, Japan wins the Little League World Championship, defeating Richmond, Virginia, by a score of one to nothing here at Williamsport, Pennsylvania. The executive producer of ABC's Wide World of Sports is Rune Arling. Little League World Series produced by Chet Forty and directed by Lou Vopicelli. Associate directors, Doug Wilson, Joe Assetti, Bernie Hoffman, and Don Olmeyer. Technical director, Werner Gunther. Coordinating producer, Jim Spence. Remember, next week, we begin our coverage of U.S. Olympic trials competition with the women's swimming trials in Los Angeles, California. And also next week, 
the Pacific Southwest Cross Country Motorcycle Championships from the Mojave Desert. And we look once more at the great defensive play that ended the ball game and the emotion catches up here in this great moment for these youngsters at Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Now this is Keith Jackson along with Jimmy Pearsall saying so long from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, birthplace of Little League Baseball. of Little League Baseball, Williamsport, Pennsylvania.